Hello YouTube and all who have it. My name is Luke and today, as you can see, we are back in Dark Souls. So today, I got quite a video for you guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get an easy kill on one of the bosses known as the Bell Tower Gargoyles. So I'm not going to waste any time, let's get straight into it. So leaving off where we did last time, we're just going to head down here first to talk to a friend of mine named Andre the Blacksmith. I don't think that we really have to do anything right here now. I just wanted to say hi to my, bo my, my boyo Andre. Let's head back up here. Um, okay, and then these guys. Oh, there's Bowman behind me. Eek, eek, eek. Okay, yeah, that was a hit. Get out of here. Just want to take him down first. And slash him, and then get behind him. Let's see if I can get a parry here. Oh, I tried to, tried to do the shield thing. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Okay, um, this guy isn't too much of an annoyance. He, we should be able to kill him fairly easy. Yeah, he, he's not, he's not too bad. He ain't too bad. Slash, and there it is. Easy kill, let's go. Oh, and I also just realized that I should probably go and upgrade. Ooh, we just got some good stuff from that great sword. All right. Um, I just realized that I have 3,623 souls. It would have been awful if I just lost those. So we're going to head back to the bonfire. Uh, we're going to upgrade real quick. Uh, so I'm going to head back into here. And thankfully that guy doesn't respawn. So I'm going to head over here. And on this uh, altar thing, there's a firekeeper soul. I'm going to show you guys, once we go back to Firelink Shrine, I'm going to show you guys what a firekeeper soul does. Take this elevator so that we can go from here to Firelink Shrine. Because, uh, yeah, this is really effective so in fact i'm not really too sure if we want to take uh the the bonfire that's that way or the firelink shrine altar or the shri the firelink shrine bonfire can't talk today uh because the firelink shrine uh has more estus flasks but then again i'm going to show you guys how to get an easy kill so i think i'm probably just going to take the andre uh the andre bonfire oh okay here it is so uh by this guy our friendly friend uh we're going to Come down these steps and then we're gonna see this cage in the wall this is the fire keeper without the fire keeper the flame and the bonfire would not be there so we're gonna talk to her um she can't speak she's mute so we're just going to ask her to reinforce our estus flask then we give her the fire keeper soul and then as you can see down there we get estus flask plus one which essentially means that our estus flasks heal more health when we use them so i'm gonna head back up to the bonfire Guys, I did just want to mention real quick, um, if you do notice an improvement in graphics, that's because I'm actually uh, playing on Dark Souls Remastered instead of Dark Souls Pre Prepare to Die Edition. I'm actually using my Nintendo Switch to play this because I realized that I had it. And uh, just, just let me know if the quality uh, has any improvement. Oh, there's a boulder knight here. I'm just going to stab him. There, we need to get... So just, just let me know... Ooh, no. Got him. Okay. So just let me know if the quality has improved at all. Um, okay, so there's gonna be another guy over here. There's the mage. There's gonna be a bunch of these guys. So then there's the mage. He's gonna try and, uh, throw his spear at us, but he'll also do some magic attacks. Oh! And there's our first death! Wow! So I'm just gonna try and lure these guys off so that I can kill them pretty much one at a time, just so that I don't get overwhelmed. Hopefully this guy won't, uh... Okay, yeah, he just hit me. That's not good. Back, back, back! Oh, dang it. Okay, yeah, see, this part can be very overwhelming, but thankfully the mage doesn't respawn. Oh, now he's gonna try and do his soul arrow. But no, I'm too strong for you, my guy. You're dead! Stupid six-eyed warlock person. Um, I didn't realize that the boulder knight actually dropped something. Oh, wait, no, that's not a boulder knight. That's, uh, something knight. But he actually dropped a rapier. Okay, I'm gonna drink. Rapiers can actually be pretty good if you um, have the right stats. They're good for a dexterity build, I believe. So, if you have the right stats, they can actually be pretty good. If we go this way, there should be a guy that we can save, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, yeah, so if we break down this wooden barrier, then we should be able to go up these steps. Use the mystery key. We're just gonna leave that guy alone, and then eventually we'll come back to him. So, next... I think that the next thing that we're going to do is actually go up to the Gargoyle Tower. So, I hope that you guys are prepared to 
fight the gargoyles. So we are going to get an easy kill on these guys. I'm going to show you guys the best strategy. You just have to keep watching. So third boss but a battle in Dark Souls remastered. Let's traverse this light. Okay, so we're just going to keep walking on. We're we're going to fight these gargoyles. You guys ready? You guys prepared? This is actually a pretty cool cutscene, so I'm just going to let you guys watch it. All right, and here we go with the Bell Tower Gargoyles. So, we're not gonna see the second Gargoyle until I think that this guy gets below 50%. Um, so we're just gonna start with this guy. He's pretty easy. Essentially, we're just gonna wanna run around him, uh, try and avoid his attacks. He's gonna try and come down on us. Okay, no he isn't. Just slash him. Yeah, he's gonna be an easy kill. Just dodge his attacks. It, this would be much easier if I didn't fat roll, but you know, you can't you can't get them all. Oh, got his tail. Let's go. Just gonna keep slashing at this guy. And the second gargoyle. Yup, there's the second gargoyle. So the second gargoyle, oh, okay, no, they both breathe fire. So I'm just gonna run through this. Uh, you're just gonna wanna try and get around him so that he can't spit fire at you. Oh, shoot. And there, he should be dead now. There it is. So, where's the other one? So now, again, some some people struggle with this fire attack. Essentially, all you're going to want to do is just try and get around him. It's really simple. And this guy's even less strong than the other one. So, you can just get around to the back. Okay, he's going to spit fire again. Dr. Phil is online. This is an epic gamer moment. Alright, uh, so I'm just going to run around here. And slash his head. Should be another two hits. And then, okay, so he's in a tricky spot. We could fall off there, so I'm just gonna try and wait for him to come to me. There it is. You're in it. Oh no, I didn't mean to roll there. I didn't mean to roll there. Okay. Oh no, no, I almost just fell off. That would be been very bad and embarrassing. But there we are, gargoyles down. Let's go. So how many souls is that gonna give us? I believe it's like 5,000 souls? Twin humanities, okay. Um, and how many souls? What to begin? What to begin? 10,000! Wow! I did not remember that happening. Okay. So, now, we are going to ring the first bell after we get up this super long ladder. Uh, or super long series of ladders. Uh, honestly, this is, this is the worst part. It, it's, Dark Souls isn't even about the game being hard. It, it's really just climbing up these ladders. All right, pretty soon we're gonna meet Oswald of Karim. He's like a, I don't know what you would call him. Is he like a bishop? I don't, I don't even know what bishop means. That just sounds right. All right, here's the bell. Now, as soon as we pull this lever, the bell's gonna ring. So, here we go. Mm. Ring-a-ding-ding. And there we have it. The first bell of awakening has just been rung. Hello, friend. Okay, so we can buy some stuff from him. I'm going to purchase uh, some purging stones. So, essentially, we're, guys, we're going to need these a lot uh, later. So, I'm just going to buy one of them for now. Uh, because you can get cursed in this game which essentially means well there's like these frogs that spit like this juice at you and if you get it enough it's kind of like the poison effect that the rats give if you get it enough then you get poison or then you get cursed and it essentially halves your health and kills you instantly so i'm just going to pick up a purging stone now instead of later and we're going to head back down here so pretty easy boss fight some people struggle with the fire parts but honestly it's not really it's not really like you can't really get hit by it if you're like really trying if you're really trying you just got to kind of get around them because the hitbox is not very big so now we're going to head back down to the bonfire and uh i think that the next area in the game is going to be the uh 
I forget what it's called, but it's like the marsh place. We're gonna fight an enemy known as the Moonlight Butterfly. Alright, so I'm gonna level up my strength real quick. Um, I'm just gonna level up my strength. And then I'm gonna see if I still have fat roll. Do I fat roll? S still do. Okay, so I'm gonna level up my strength again. Uh, strength. And do I still fat roll? Yes. Ugh, this is taking so much. Alright, level up. Strength. This is the last level we can do, so hopefully it does good. Uh, let's see, and roll. Okay, we still fat roll, so that's that's a pretty non-epi gamer moment. Uh, but anyway, we're just gonna- Oh, wait, no! Guys, we have to talk to Siegmire, the greatest of them all, the Onion Knight. Let's go talk to Siegmire of Katarina in front of Sen's Fortress. We're not going to be heading to Sen's Fortress for a while, but Siegmire is just... He, he's honestly my favorite Dark Souls character. Oh, let's head up here. Hello, friend. Um. Um. <laughs> you see, Siegmire, you have to ring the second bell of awakening, which I'm going to go do, and I'm going to solve all your problems for you until you eventually kill yourself. So, let's continue. Also, guys, I just realized that I forgot to do something, so we actually have to head back to the Undead Berg. I, I forgot to talk to someone very important in the Dark Souls uni universe, so I'm going to show them to you guys. Okay, guys, I actually forgot about this area that I wanted to show you all real quick. So... This is an important area in the game because there are some items that you need for later. So, there's a halberd. Uh, you don't absolutely need that, but I'm pretty sure that in here, you got a thing called the basement key. Unless I'm wrong. I could be wrong. No, you get the basement key here. Okay, so we are going to need that later, but not quite yet. So, I'm just going to pull this lever real quick. And then you can actually open up the gate that was... This is a, this is the area where the boar, where we fought the boar. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about the basement key and that you could open up that gate. Okay, so guys, now we're at basically the point that I wanted to be back at. So, uh, I just realized that I have quite a few souls, so I'm gonna level up again, uh, in strength, and... Wait. No, I level up the wrong thing! Ugh, I'm such an idiot! Alright, whatever. We're still gonna need strength later. Okay, so essentially what you wanna do is, uh, you wanna get back to the ladder bonfire, and to talk to honestly just a god you want to come up these steps and now this part is a tiny bit risky uh it's kind of hard to get to so i'm just gonna wait till the dragon does that he's gonna spit fire there now i'm just gonna run i'm just gonna run as fast as i possibly can and hopefully it doesn't spit fire at me uh, let's see here Okay, Undead Berg. So this is what actually what the basement key is for. Um, but we're not going to actually go down there quite yet. So now... Ah, uh, there he is. Solaire of Astora. The Sunlight God. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Solaire of Astora. An adherent of now that I am undead. I have come to this great land. The birthplace of Lord Gwyn. Can you find that strength? I don't hide my reaction, Solaire, because you are just a great person. You're just amazing. Uh, I, I will. I will accept your proposition, Solaire. Yes. <laughs> All right. So essentially, um. There's these things in the game called summons, where essentially you can put down, like, your summon sign and then people can summon you to help them at bosses and such. So, essentially, Solaire just uh, gave me a thing, and now I can call upon him at bosses sometimes uh, to summon him to help me in the fight. We're back at the bonfire uh, here, and essentially the next place that we want to go is, oh, he has Katarina armor. What a god. Okay, uh, anyway, the next place that we want to go 
is uh, down to Andre. We're not actually going to be talking to him, though. Um, just a disclaimer, do not hit Andre. On my first playthrough of Dark Souls, I hit Andre, and if you didn't know, he's the only blacksmith that you have for a while, and essentially every time that I came down here, he would try to murder me. Okay, and then there's this guy who just wants to completely destroy you. Oh, that somehow still hit me? That's okay. Okay, so for this guy, you just kind of want to run up to him, and don't don't get hit by that thing. See, this guy is ridiculously hard to dodge when you fat roll. In fact, I think I might just run past him for, now, for right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna run past him if I if I could run. All right, I'm gonna drink. And I don't think that the secret bonfire is here, but there is a secret. Or wait, is the secret bonfire here? Is the bonfire here? No. Okay. I don't think that the secret bonfire comes up until a little bit later. And he's dead. No, not quite yet. Just grasping onto life. <laughs> Grass. Anyway, uh, let's head down here. Uh, where is the secret bonfire? Well, we haven't come. Oh, shh! That scared me so bad. Oh my god, I have never been. I have never been so scared in my life. Double slash. There we go. Alright, and then this guy's gonna be annoying with his branches. Now, these guys can actually be quite useful because they drop moss, and moss is used to uh, stop poison as well as stop bleeding. So, there's a blooming purple moss called that is not only used for stopping poison, but it can also be used for stopping toxicity, which is basically like poison on steroids. Uh, so, we're going to keep heading up there. I wonder what, oh, there's items around here. Lord Soul of a Nameless Soldier, okay. Uh, we're gonna keep heading up here. Okay, yeah, so the secret bonfire is coming up. So, we can't go into that door yet because we need 20,000 souls to uh, purchase an item from Andre. I think it's 20,000 at least, it might be 2,000. Uh, but anyway, there's an illusionary wall right here. If you hit it, uh, it'll unlock a secret bonfire. So I'm just gonna rest here. Light the bonfire and rest. Do you remember anything off the top of my head that gives bleeding? But there are quite a few enemies that do. Right, now this part is annoying, so I'm just gonna run past everything and get to the boss. Um, we should just be able to get past right in here without any of the giants waking up. Oh, yep, there they are. Hey, there's some elite knight armor. I'm pretty sure that that's better than the stuff that I have on right now. Um, okay, so we're just gonna wanna walk in here, uh, just run past everything for now, because they're annoying. Uh, and then we head up here, and now we are on to a boss called the Moonlight Butterfly. Here it is. Alright, so the Moonlight Butterfly is pretty much just gonna keep throwing those things at you. You're just gonna wanna try and roll past them. Rolling without fat rolling is very useful in this boss fight, unfortunately. I can't do that, um, so I'm just gonna have to fat roll, unfortunately. Eventually she'll get tired and rest on the bridge, which is happening right now. So you just wanna go up to her, slash her a few times. Oh god, I'm under leveled. But hey, oh she, and then she blows up I think. Does she blow up? Yes yeah, she does, okay. So when green stuff starts going into her, you just wanna try and run away. She has a laser. She has a laser. And two more hits. Oh no, just one more. And easy kill on the Moonlight Butterfly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Moonlight Butterfly has been destroyed. Easy kill. How many souls? I think she only gives like 5,000 or so. Maybe 10,000? I don't think so though. Okay, 10,000. I'm not complaining. Two easy bosses, 10,000 souls. All right, here's an item. The Watchtower Basement Key. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Do you guys know what that means? I think you do. It's time to fight one last thing in this episode. One of my personal favorite uh, enemies, known as Havel the Rock, a bishop, and a pretty awesome one at that. So we're gonna go over to him pretty soon. So we didn't really need the Watchtower Basement Key because I have the Master Key. If you recall in the last episode, we opened up a random door by the Taurus Demon. Um, so yeah, actually I'm just gonna use a whole more bone because uh, I'm not gonna walk all the way back there. So you can just 
do this and hit use item and yes return to bonfire and there we are with our homeward bone okay so finally we have made it to the bonfire so now i'm going to show you guys how to get to a super tough enemy known as Havel the rock who drops a super good ring that is going to be super useful for us specifically at the beginning of the game so I'm just going to head up here. And actually what I want to... I, I can probably level up right about now. Please, strength, endurance. Here we go. Come on. Roll. Ugh. This is too much. It's just too much. All right. Well, I'm going to take off all the armor that I can because this guy is a literal machine and I can't be fat rolling. I'm just going to try and run past everyone. So, get in there, and get, slide in there, but we're still good, we're still good, we're still good, we're still good, and he's not gonna hit me. So now the guys might be coming down here, uh, I'm gonna open this door real quick, use the watchtower basement key, you can also open that with a master key, so if you wanna get this item super early on, then you can do that, uh, but I'm not going to. So I just wanna make, or actually no, I'm not gonna be at full health for this, but whatever. Alright, so this man is a literal... God. There he is. Havel the Rock. Alright, I'm gonna roll down here. And I'm gonna wait for him to come back down. And he's probably gonna own me. Oh! Are you serious? This is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. Why do you just have to crash on me like that, Switch? Why do you just gotta do that to me? Why'd you do it to me? Alright. Time to fight a literal god. Hello, Ma hello, Havel. How are you today? Myself, I'm doing pretty good because I'm fighting you. You just gotta get backstabs on him. Yeah, because as you can see, like there, he he is just completely insane. There it is, backstab right right there. So this is just a long and tedious fight. You just have to get backstabs, if I'm being completely honest. Which is kind of hard to do sometimes. But he wouldn't go all the way out. What is he doing? What did he just do? Is he doing some weird hocus pocus? Hocus pocus stuff? What is he doing? Is he like lagging or something? That's bad. And dead. Sorry, bud, but you've been canceled. Havel is done. And with that, we have the god item, Havel's Ring. I'm going to show you guys why this is a god item. Boosts maximum equipment load. And when it says boost maximum equipment load, it doesn't just boost it. It literally destroys it. So I'm going to put all my stuff back on. Uh, Elite Night Leggings. It's going to be really embarrassing if this doesn't do anything. But look at this. Look at this. Clean roll with that ring on. That is just so fantastic. All right, well, I'm going to use a homeward bone. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that I'm going to conclude this episode. I accidentally de-equipped that. I'm going to conclude this episode of Dark Souls. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.